Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2016, and we're thrilled to have with us in the studio Caspian. How are you guys doing today? Good, man. Thank you so much for being here once again. Um, you have a new album out, Dust and Disquiet. Uh, I've read that you guys are really happy with this album and feel that it's a thematic leap forward and a musical leap forward for you. Since you traditionally don't have lyrics on your records, how does the discussion of theme come up? Like, is it more in terms of heaviness or just the sound? Um, yeah, how do you guys talk about that? I think it starts with a few small ideas and then mm -hmm. it sort of grows out and blooms from there. Um, we did kind of consciously start out wanting to make a bit of a heavier record this time. Mm -hmm. um, it ended up incorporating a lot more light and shade and some ups and downs and much more of like a fully realized scope, I guess. Um, but we kind of stuck to our guns on the heavy part, I think. Awesome, excellent. Well, we're really excited to hear some songs from it. So uh, without further ado, go ahead.
Uh, hey guys, sorry, we're just gonna fix a, a technical issue really quick. Uh, so we have with us uh, Tanner Merritt of the band Oh Brother, who you guys are obviously touring with. Um, the song Run Dry traditionally does not have vocals on it. How did you guys go about um, <laughs> writing the line for that and laying it down? Did you write the lyrics or did they have lyrics already? Had the vocoder on there. <laughs> Sound like a Decepticon. There yeah. Uh, well, it's most important to note that this song was written by uh, our bandmate Calvin. Uh, Cal doesn't hit the road with us, but he's been there from day one. He and I and Joe and Chris founded the band 11 years ago. Uh, Cal brought this piece to us to sort of fill in a gap of the record, uh, sort of heart and beating soul of it. And Cal brought the, the part and the lyrics, and it just sort of, yeah, just like congealed all the other pieces around it. Um, so. Yeah, Cal's not here, but he could probably speak to it best. Uh, I think the words kind of speak for themselves. Um, Definitely. Uh, do you think in, you know, within heavier, longer works, it's important to have those moments of respite, to have those softer moments, to have kind of a breather for the audience? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, our records are long, they're involved, uh, they're marathons, they require a lot of uh, attention and a lot of your imagination. Um, so I think sort of you know, sprinkling the record with like different moods here and there, some things that might not, you know, contrast against each other and provide just for more of like a full bodied experience is something that we've always been kind of chasing down from day one. Um, most importantly though, like when we set out to do a record, we have like a narrative concept in mind and like an overarching story that we want to tell. So we'll sort of, you know, use whatever, whatever, I guess, musical instrumentation and songwriting approaches we can to sort of make it filled out. You know what I'm saying? And on um, speaking of different instruments, uh, on Dust and Disquiet, it opens with separation number two. Is that a like a tenor saxophone in the beginning, uh, the very beginning? Yeah, that's a muted trumpet. Uh, our buddy John over in Scotland, who's a good friend of Joe's, uh, we sort of commissioned that part from him, and he brought it to the table, and we folded it into the mix. Thought he did a really great job. Mm -hmm. And um, t going back to story just for a moment, um, would you care to comment at all on what what you would say the story of Dust and Disquiet is? Um, oh, we would we would never do that. <laughs> um, we always like to leave these things to the imagination. That's, sure. that's part of the fun, you know? So it's not as much of uh, delivering some linear kind of narrative. It's more just like letting the listener make it. Uh, f for us, it is. Uh -huh. um, but I think hopefully if we do our job well, it opens up, you know, multiple possibilities for whatever anyone brings to the table in terms of just their own contribution, I guess, imaginary creative contribution to what it is. So if it's too fixed, if it's too defined, if it's too specific, then I think we need to, we've always sort of back away from that. And if it's too amorphous and just too abstract and strange, it's also just not really us. So walking that fine line in between those two poles, I guess, is sort of how we try to, how we try to put these things together. Excellent. Um, well, we're gonna go right back into this then. Uh, once again, this is Run Dry featuring Tanner Merritt of Oh Brother. Take it away, guys. From the time we were young 
Being live in the studio here at so Audio much, Tree. Tanner. Yeah, thank you, Tanner, for coming in. And uh, just a quick note again for anyone who's in Illinois, uh, Tanner's man, no brother, is playing with Caspian tonight in DeKalb at the House Cafe. The doors are at 7:30, and the show is at 8:30. So you should definitely check that out if uh, if you want to hear music from both of these guys again. Uh, really quick, how important would you guys say the visual element is to your shows, as far as the light display? Um, how you present yourself on stage and everything. Is that something you guys think about? I'll maybe ask Joe since uh, he's not tuning. Uh, yeah, I mean, for this tour run, we definitely put a little bit of effort into upping the production. Mm -hmm. This is the first time we've gone out with anything like this. So, um, I mean, when we were coming up with ideas, we were just spitballing in, like, the longest email thread ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually we came up with this idea, and Johnny put these things together, these light boxes that are, you know, wood and... Uh, that like covering for the fluorescent yeah. lights on the drop ceilings, like <laughs> <laughs> covering yeah. lights. And uh, our boy Justin over here activates them, and he's been with us doing that this whole tour. And, and I think that means the most to us is that he's, you know, been involved with us and like a friend for so long that like it's seamless. Definitely. And we didn't really know how important they were until Justin. Yeah, started. to be honest, <laughs> it wasn't like, until he was doing it. We can't play shows it. without these now. So. <laughs> Oh, you guys sounded awesome. Now it's just like your lights were amazing. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you guys sound like crap. Your lights are great. <laughs> yeah. uh, really quick, what's the uh, story behind the feather? I know it's sort of your band logo, but does it have a specific meaning? It does to us, yeah. It does? All right. Yeah. A man of mystery, <laughs> always. Um, it's with the, you know, the all black. All, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very it's ominous good. and everything like that, yeah. Um, ex except you, who uh, Joe has the Star Wars uh logo on his shirt not logo but characters it's yeah, the only yeah. non-solid black Hope is the, uh, the movie poster the original one how did you like force awakens uh i loved it because i mean i like nostalgia and mm -hmm. i really like the old series uh, the original trilogy so uh i mean it was pretty much a rehash of a new hope and if you like that movie you're gonna like this one yeah exactly i, felt I mean bb8 giving the thumbs up come on man <laughs> the it's lighter awesome. up or yeah yeah, the lighter <laughs> yeah. Up. yeah exactly how, how did you i mean I know this is a typical question for any Star Wars fan, but uh, how did you feel about the prequels, one, two, and three? I mean, look, I like Star Wars, so I like them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not, we don't fight about this in the band, but I know some of the guys feel super strongly that they're the worst movies ever created. <laughs> so, but I mean, I even watch Clone Wars. I watch like the mm -hmm. animated stuff. I, I buy their Lego sets. I mean, I'm not like, 
the most diehard Star Wars fan, but I do really enjoy it. I think it's I think it's awesome. So you're not making them watch the Star Wars holiday special in the van or anything like that? No, dude, no. I would never make anybody watch that. I, I don't think it would end before you got to the next city you're going to. I think it's like three hours no, long. No, I don't think my life would continue that, that <laughs> yeah. long, actually, if I tried to make them watch that. Exactly. Uh, are we ready for the final song? Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Let's go into it. Once again, this is Caspian Audio Tree Life. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. If you're going to try, go all the way. This could mean losing relatives, jobs, and maybe your mind. Go all the way. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on a park bench. It could mean jail. It could mean derision, mockery, isolation. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance, of how much you really want to do it. And you'll do it, despite rejection and the worst odds. And it will be better than anything else you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods, and the nights will flame with fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Fall the way. Fall the way. You will ride life straight to perfect laughter. It's the only good fight there is.
Caspian, live in the studio, Audio Tree Live. I want to thank the band so much for coming out today. You can get their new album, Dust and Disquiet, now. You can catch them on tour. They're going to be touring with Under Oath in March, which is very exciting. Uh, thanks to the awesome people in the studio and sound engineers. Thanks to the lighting crews and camera crew for designing the look. And thanks to you guys all out there for watching. You can support the band by downloading this session from our website or streaming it online. Send a shout out via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. Uh, follow all of us here in the Audio Tree Studios. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good week. See ya.